What's going on, Dodgers Nation? Doug McCain here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. If you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to the Dodgers Nation YouTube channel. Thanks to you guys, it's the fastest growing Dodgers YouTube channel in the game. So if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, and give me all your takes down below in the comment section. I want all your fire Dodger takes down below in the comment section. And for all the latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. So the hot stove could be reached a boiling point for the Los Angeles Dodgers because LA is reportedly still in the mix for Trevor Bauer. Today, Jeff Passan tweeted out, the Los Angeles Dodgers are monitoring the market for right-hander Trevor Bauer and could be a player depending on the price, sources tell ESPN. Focus for the Dodgers now remains on a right-handed infield bat, but Bauer and the Dodgers remain a possibility as his market develops. And then earlier today, Ken Rosenthal was on MLB Network, and he had this to say about the possibility of Trevor Bauer signing with the Dodgers. One thing to watch with Bauer would be the Dodgers. One team to watch him. And the reason I say that, on a short deal, the kind that the Dodgers favor, this might make some sense for them. He's talked a lot. So with this being a big rumor involving the Dodgers, you know how we get down. We had to break out the Dodgers rumor meter. That's where we rate the rumors based on how realistic we think they are. And a one Dodger dog, that's a Jet Passin BS. You know, Jet Passin, the fake Twitter account. Then two Dodger dogs, that's people are talking. Three Dodger dogs, that's where you got some serious smoke. Four Dodger dogs, it's about to go down. Then four Dodger dogs plus Michelada, that's a game over Eric Gagne lock. Now as far as this rumor goes, I'm going to give it a three Dodger dog serious smoke because the rumor is that the Dodgers are monitoring the market for Trevor Bauer and I think they're doing just that I think they would consider signing him on a short-term high AAV deal I don't think they'd give him four or five years or anything like that but I do think they would consider him on a short-term deal that is the deal that the Dodgers prefer look the Dodgers would have signed Bryce Harper a few years ago if he was going to take that five-year high AAV deal so it's not like the Dodgers aren't willing to sign some of these guys last offseason the Dodgers made big offers to Garrett Cole and Anthony Rendon. Garrett Cole ends up signing with his childhood team, the New York Yankees, and Anthony Rendon didn't like the Hollywood lifestyle. So the Dodgers are offering big money to some of these big free agents. They're just doing it on their own terms. They're not offering these big monster contracts, these overpays where they're committed for 10 plus years unless it's for a player of Mookie Betts' caliber. We're talking about a surefire first ballot Hall of Famer, so they are willing to pay if the player's right and the price is right. And what price would be right for Trevor Bauer? You'd probably I'll be talking about a two-year contract, 30 to $35 million a year, a high AAV, a low-term contract. And the reason for that is, save for Mookie Betts, the Dodgers don't have very much money guaranteed long-term. Guys like Joe Kelly and Kenley Jansen, A.J. Pollock, they'll be coming off the books. We'll see if they re-sign Justin Turner to a two-year deal. Then we'll see what happens with Walker Buehler. Will they sign him to an extension? Will they sign Corey Seager to an extension? Clay and Kershaw? And yes, they're going to be on the hook for arbitration raises for Cody Bellinger, Julio Urias, Dustin May, Will Smith, but the reality is the Dodgers can afford Trevor Bauer on a short-term contract if they think he's worth it. If they think they're getting peak prime Cy Young winning Trevor Bauer, he's worth $30 million per season on a short-term deal. I just don't think he's worth the highest AAV in the game type deal, but if you're the Dodgers, he can be a monster pickup. He can really make this rotation the best rotation in all of Major League Baseball. Look, he's from Valencia, California, the home of Magic Mountain. Well, he would make the Dodgers rotation Goliath in Major League Baseball. Just take a look at this rotation right here. You've got Walker Buehler. He's still the ace of the staff. Butane is the ace of the Los Angeles Dodgers. A 2-3-5 ERA across 11 postseason starts. He's the ace of the staff. And then your number two guy is Clayton Kershaw. Clayton Kershaw pitched very well last year in the postseason. I still think he has a lot left in the tank. I still like Kersh right behind Walker Buehler in this rotation. And then Trevor Bauer as your number three guy. Trevor Bauer, a reigning side Young Award winner as your number three. That is three aces atop this rotation for the Dodgers. Oh, and then how about another former Cy Young winner, David Price, after a full year's rest, coming in there at the number four spot. And then Julio Urias. I still like Julio as a starter. And then Dustin May. I think Dustin May has the potential to be the future ace of this
this staff. He's still just 23 years old. And don't rule out Tony Gonsolin. He was just Baseball America's Rookie of the Year last season. Yes, he struggled in the postseason at times, but I still think he can be a solid starter as well. I would love to see him get more opportunities there. But Dustin May, Tony Gonsolin, Julio Urias, I don't think they would have an issue pitching out of the pen during certain points of the season. We know Trevor Bauer, he's talked about the idea of pitching every four day. So I'd imagine that the Dodgers would compromise that to an extent, or we'll see how that works out. But I love the depth of this rotation. And also with that added depth, you could also keep Clayton Kershaw and David Price healthy for the postseason. Look, we saw what Kershaw looked like last year in October when he was rested. He pitched 58 and a third innings last year in that shortened season. Well, he had a 2.93 ERA. He really had his best postseason run as far as consistency goes. And then David Price, he's no spring chicken either. So he'll be 35 years old. Do you really want to have those guys pitching 170 plus innings next season? Will you bring in Trevor Bauer? He's the guy that could be a real innings eater. He's a guy that's in the prime of his career. And by signing him to a short-term deal, you're going to get the best years of Trevor Bauer. I think that is what the Dodgers really try to focus on when it comes to signing guys long-term. Can we get the best from this player? How much prime is left in his career? Look, they signed Mookie Betts long-term. Well, he was set to hit free agency at the age of 28. So that is why they signed Mookie Betts long-term. They know they're getting a generational talent in his peak years, and they think he'll age well as a player. So you won't see the Dodgers signing any Pujols-type deals. They're not going to overpay and commit long-term if they think it's going to bite them in the end. But I think with Trevor Bauer, what makes it such an intriguing possibility is the market right now. Because the Toronto Blue Jays, you have to believe they're off the table. Are the Angels really big spenders this offseason for Trevor Bauer? Are the San Diego Padres, who just made another trade for a starter in Musgrove, are they in the mix for Trevor Bauer? Are the Mets still in the mix for Trevor Bauer? Look, you saw what happened to their GM. They just made the big trade for Francisco Lindor. They already have Jacob deGrom. So it makes you wonder how many teams are out there. They're going to be offering him these big $200 million deals, you know, $175 million plus for Trevor Bauer. So I think when you look at it from that perspective, I think the Dodgers are definitely a team that could jump in there and say, hey, we'll give you big money on a short-term deal. Come to Los Angeles. You said you want to compete for a World Series with the Dodgers. They're the odds-on favorites right now. Just imagine how that number will look if they add Trevor Bauer. That will skyrocket if they're able to add the reigning Cy Young Award winner. Now, the big question I would have if I were the Dodgers would be what Trevor Bauer are we getting? Are we getting the inconsistent Trevor Bauer that we've seen at certain points of his career, or are we getting the dominating Trevor Bauer that we saw last season? The 173 ERA, the third in K per nine at 12.33, the 36% K percentage that placed him right behind Jacob DeGrom and Shane Bieber. He was fourth in war last season for pitchers. Are we getting that Trevor Bauer? Because if that's the case, that's a pitcher that could really help this Dodgers starting rotation, one that can miss bats. We know how important that is in October, and he's shown the ability to do that. Look, last season, in his only start in the postseason, he struck out 12 in seven and two-thirds innings. So from a pure pitching standpoint, if you're even getting 90% of what he was last season, I think it makes a lot of sense for the Dodgers on a short-term deal. Now, I know Trevor Bauer's a very polarizing player. Some Dodger fans, you ask them, hey, should the Dodgers sign Trevor Bauer? Their answer is... No! No, God! No! And then you ask other Dodger fans if they should sign Trevor Bauer, and their answer is... I mean, come on, I just don't see a problem here. Let's just do it. Yeah, let's do it. Now let's do this! So if you're asking me if I think the Dodgers should sign Trevor Bauer, I would say only under a couple conditions. One, it has to be a short-term deal. Nothing past two years. It can't get in the way of a Corey Seager or Walker Buehler extension or anything like that. And then two, will he buy into this Dodgers culture? From Andrew Freeman to Dave Roberts to Justin Turner to Clayton Kershaw, they built such a strong culture here. This clubhouse is very strong. Is he going to do anything to fracture that? I think the Dodgers have to be convinced of that before they sign Trevor Bauer. But if those conditions are met, I would say, hey, make a Bauer move and sign Trevor Bauer. Bring the Valencia kid, the UCLA kid back home. His childhood team grew up loving the Dodgers. Look, the reality is he would make the Dodgers a better team. He would increase their chances of winning the World Series, and they have such a great team right now. You want to squeeze as many commissioner's trophies out of this group as you possibly can. But let me know down below in the comments, should the Dodgers sign Trevor Bauer? Give me a Y for yes, give me an N for no, and if you haven't yet, 
it. Be sure to subscribe to the Dodgers Nation YouTube channel. It's the fastest growing Dodgers YouTube channel in the game. So for all latest Dodgers news, rumors, hype videos, podcasts, interviews, you're going to find it right here. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, and give me all your takes down below in the comment section. My name is Doug McCann. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. That's at DMAC underscore LA. For all latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. And until next time, think blue, bleed blue, and I'm out.